Before we begin this video, I would like to reiterate that if you don't believe in and support the Black Lives Matter movement, you are very, very wrong and very, very misled. For all you racist assholes who still want to scream all lives matter in my comment section, I have one fucking message for you folks. The fuck are you on my page for? Get the fuck off my page. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Marie and I make weekly videos reacting to the Below Deck franchise shows. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing, sharing, and liking my videos. Hey guys, hope you everyone is doing well this week. For the people who caught my what the fuck NBC video, two days later, I won my dispute. Heck yeah. It only took me tweeting at them to please look into the copyright claim, but at least it worked, right? Y'all, this episode was something. Chef Kiko just might be losing his mind because of mushrooms? Let's get on with the video. Captain Sandy? I need someone who can work. Hannah needs a third stew with two hands. I agree with Sandy. She needs someone who can work at 100%, especially during these high maintenance charters. I am so confused. The last dinner was 72. It was incredible. Freshly shucked oysters, wow. mukaka, shrimps with teriyaki broccoli, filet mignon. Perfect work. You did an amazing job. But right now, I'm at a loss. It has to be faster. Holy shit. This is the first time she's been in the galley all night. This has got to be a record for Captain Sandy. Usually, she's right in there micromanaging everything. Kind of proud of her. Chef Kiko? To cook vegan, it's not a pleasure for me. I always miss the protein. I'm uh, from Brazil. I like meat. I like fish. I have to say he's right. I had a friend who was vegan, and the only places we could go to were vegan places when we went out because of her dietary restrictions. And I never really enjoyed anything but a salad there. And, uh, we went a lot. It's not my style. I hate to cook vegan. But, as always, I will try my best to make this guest happy. I imagine asking a chef to make gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan meals for people would be like asking them to make a meal with one hand. In mushrooms. I have a certain amount of mushrooms to use during the whole shutter, and the quality maybe for the mushrooms is not good. So that's make me like kind of scary about it, like what I'm gonna do next. What else can we do for I will, I'll figure it out now. Uh, this is not a problem. This is just like the lemon problem, and I put problem in quotations, okay? All we have to do is call mainland and ask the provision people to send some more fucking mushrooms, just like they're gonna send some more lemons. It's really not that hard. The mushrooms needs to be really on time. And if they don't come, I'm I guess I don't have skin in the game because I hate mushrooms, so I don't see like the extreme importance of them. So, yeah. Time is something kind of hard on the galley, very hard. But because my mind is messed up with this mushroom thing, I'm very slow and feel like I think that Chef Kiko is a wonderful chef, but I don't think he can handle curveballs thrown at him at all. And I think in the yachting industry, to be a yachting chef, you need to have that ability to like roll with the punches. The mushroom teriyaki. Please don't set me on fire. We put inside and put a fire outside which keep the mushroom warm and it's a nice presentation. It's art. I guess he's got to come up with something that's like weird for the dish to take that long. I don't know. It's just tin foil though, so like I don't get it. I messed up. I know Bugsy is trying to help me, but I put everything on me, you know. Wait, I'm confused. When did he not put things on himself? Like, he's so hard on himself all the time. When did that happen? Someone let me know. That f***ed up everything, man. The guests still hungry. Make me just feel like sh Like I'm not good enough, you know? Like I'm not good. I think he fucked up timing, but not the food. And like Hannah said, he just needs to work on portion size and then everything will work out. I just think that he's really fatalistic in his thought process sometimes and he just can't get out of his own head and then he gets in his own way. 
Chief Stew, Hannah. So the one good thing about Bugs is she knows what she's doing. You want Lex's this try to ride? We might just rotate that. It's not a nice shift. <laughs> I'm just going to let her pick up the slack and manage Jess. Like, I have enough on my plate on this boat. I don't need any more drama. I probably would have done the same thing if I was Hannah. I would just let Bugsy have that reign and see how far she can get with her. And then when Bugsy comes to Hannah and says, holy shit, then they can make a decision and replace her. These chatter guests look interesting and fun. Hopefully I will not need to bring out any of my non-existent Spanish. This has always bugged me. Okay, so she's been in the yachting industry for like how long now? And she's been to all these countries, right? If I was a chief Sioux who was worth any salt, I would learn as many languages as I possibly could. Wouldn't you? Open your eyes, huh? What do you mean? Because the lemon. Okay, mushrooms. She has me. But you're not responsible for the lemon. I mean, I'm just saying open. Yeah, no, I know. Trust eyes. me. Why do you think uh, I had so much trouble last time? It's only her second charter, and Bugs already went out her way to throw me under the bus. What's her name? No, but Bugs. I feel it. No, I feel things. Trust me, mate. I'm sleeping with one eye open. I don't know about y'all, but I really like Chef Kiko and Hannah having that kind of bond with each other and kind of just looking out for each other. Uh, you don't really see that from a Chief Stew and Chef on this show nowadays. So it's nice to just... Have some calmness in there and not have them butt heads. With Bugs, like, her over-enthusiasm drives me up the wall. It's like, if you think you can do my job, I'm all for it. Well, now that Hannah's pregnant, Bugsy just might take over her chief stew spot on the franchise. I really hope he can pull himself out of this funk because he's the chef. We kind of need him. It sucks to be in that position and have no control over what's in his head or what he's thinking. All you can do is support him, and that's it. Second Sue Bugsy. This season, I'm all about second chances. Giving someone a chance to redeem themselves is very important. Fairness is key, even if you are peed. I gotta tell you, Bugsy, I don't always agree with that. Kiko's a hot mess at this lunch. I like, feel bad, but we're on a 60-minute yacht. Vegetarians, vegans, dietary requirements. It's just the job. Bugsy is not wrong. If you got into yachting thinking that every charter guest was going to be a piece of cake, I don't know what yachting industry you thought you were going into. I just think Kiko is putting a lot of pressure on himself. You know, at the same time, I'm there to help. That is part of what we do. We keep the drinks flowing. We keep the party going. I love it. It's amazing. She's right. It's all about smoke and mirrors. And sometimes you have to distract the guests if things aren't going right. And I think she's really, really good at that. We've got a set time for dinner, and it's come and gone at this point. Like, the guests are not really sure what to do with themselves. It's, like, kind of hard to, you know, cover this up for him. All I gotta say is fucking mushrooms. Fucking mushrooms. They're gross. I don't know why anyone likes them. And if they didn't exist, this problem would not exist. Third stew, Jessica. I don't know exactly what happened, but I think it's bad. Okay, I'm going to sound like a bitch here, but, like, how do you do that? How does that happen? I, I told you I'm a bitch. It's hard enough doing third stew stuff. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep my job, but I hope so. These fingers work still, so we're good. I don't know about that, Jess. You didn't have a lot of urgency when you had all of your fingers, so I can only imagine how helpful you'll be when you're down some. I'm a hard worker. I need more of this, less of this. <laughs> that girl needs something, all right. How do you not feel guilty? I have a broken finger, and you want me to unpack your luggage? Is that necessary? If anything I've learned in 2020 is that rich people and celebrities, they don't even exist in our world anymore. They're so detached from reality, they don't care about us. I can't dress myself, I can't button myself, and it's a lot to figure out, like, how to hold a trait. But I have Rob. Oh, gracias. I got this. 
sure you do, sweetie. Can you imagine if she didn't have Rob and how annoying she would be asking people to help her left and right? That's not what they need on a yacht. Bosun Malia. I need to prove a point with Pete. He doesn't show up on deck when he's meant to. He talks back to me, he doesn't listen, and this whole thing with Bugsy is just the next step. You should have done it episodes ago. You knew how gross he was. Everybody knows how gross he is. With my decision to demote Pete, I need someone else to step it up. So I'm giving Alex this responsibility. I'm hoping that he'll just run with it. Poor secondary ground line is dropped. Copy. Girl can hope. <laughs> I personally think she should have swapped them eons ago. Pete getting demoted, uh, he actually is taking it very well. You ready to push this in with me, bro? I don't know if that's genuine or if he's trying to play this long game. We'll see how it holds up. Yeah, like Malia, I don't see that lasting. I see him slipping up and saying something super chauvinistic or super just disgusting. I don't see it lasting at all. Lead Deccant Alex. I just want to make you guys aware of kind of what's going on. Um, Pete is no longer going to be our lead Deccan. I think it's the best decision for our team at the moment. I think it was important. It was necessary. I, I, Thank you. I appreciate that. I agree with it. Hey. I really like how supportive Alex was in that moment. Alex is such a good guy. We all know that he won't throw the power switch in Peter's face. Even though he probably should. It's all good, bro. Yeah, I know. Watch out for professional Pete. What's professional Pete? It's a sign you guys haven't seen yet. I'm ready. Alex is really trying to be the nicest he can possibly be to Peter. But even he is skeptical of Peter's ability to step up and do better. That cabin might get real uncomfortable some nights. Eek. Deckhand, Robert. I just want to make you guys aware of kind of what's going on. Um, Pete is no longer going to be our lead deckhand. I think it's the best decision for our team at the moment. I think it was important. It was necessary. I, I, Thank you. I appreciate that. I agree with it. Hey. Personally, I think that Robert wanted Malia to do that a long time ago. As a viewer... We can tell that Robert really doesn't care for Peter in the slightest. Thank goodness they weren't roommates, huh? I can't dress myself. I can't button myself. And it's a lot to figure out, like, how to hold a drink. But I have Rob. Oh, I got this. Y'all, I don't see what Robert sees in Jessica. She's whiny, annoying, and apparently clumsy as fuck as to shut her finger in a door. Like, has that ever happened on this show before? If she didn't have Robert helping her, she would quite literally be screwed. But not in a good way. She better thank her lucky stars that he's even there for her. Lead deckhand Peter. Got punched and kicked in the teeth a little bit, and I needed it. And all I can do from this point on is bring out professional Pete. Was that appropriate for the crew, miss? Borderline. 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 It's not always party Pete. I just really don't understand how this man could be a captain of anything other than the tender, like Malia said. This man has no professionalism. How did he get where he is, apparently? I want to see his credentials. I want to see his license. I left my whole crew down. I need to be professional and need them to believe in me again. I don't know about y'all, but I really don't think Pete's sorry for anything. I really don't believe he understands that anything he did was inappropriate. Fuck, the guy didn't even know he was calling people sweetheart. This guy has no self-awareness whatsoever. My peak and pit of the episode. The peak of the episode for me was Malia laying down the law and telling Pete that he is demoted to a regular deckhand. Pete, Pete, Malia. Hey, Pete, do you mind meeting me on the bow? Surely. Hey. What's up? Um, this isn't going to be easy, but, um... You're no longer my lead deckhand, huh? and I want you to understand why. 
I've been pretty lax with things that have been going on, but um, I need to put my foot down because now it's impacting the whole crew. Okay? Mm -hmm. And on a boat, we have a standard. We have a professional code. I don't want to sit here and listen to a lot of the vulgar things you say that, you know, about Laura or about other women or things you've done in the past. Like, it needs to be cleaned up. Wow. You know, you've got a female captain, you've got a female bosun, you've got a female chief stew. Respect that, you know? Yeah. Your ego and your cockiness is now putting the safety of this vessel in jeopardy. And I'm baffled as to why I have to explain this to someone who calls themselves a captain. So consider this your one, two, and three warning, because that's something that I'm not going to put up with. I understand. Cool. Thank you. Yep. The pit of the episode for me was the damn mushrooms. Just the mushrooms. Fuck the mushrooms. That f***ed up everything, man. The gas is still hungry. Make me just feel like shit. Like I'm not good enough, you know, like I'm not good. Do you agree? Please sign off below. My predictions for the season? No new true predictions this week, but next week we might get a few of them. What are your predictions? Please comment them down below. Yachty of the episode goes to Bugsy. For getting advice from Peter's boss, Malia, before going to Captain Sandy. In this situation, I think she went up the hierarchy totally correctly. Hey, Cap. Hi. How's it going? Good. Okay. Um, I just want to bring to your attention that I have been having quite a strange encounter with Pete. At first, I thought it was kind of like out of shock value, the way that he's been talking about girls and whatnot, and I just kind of let it go. But after the charter in the crew mess, he was speaking quite rudely about the second stew who Sexually? left. Sexually. Can I dress her with my f***ing teeth? Just bang her stereotypes. I'm just worried well, about... it's not allowed. No. Has he, has he, like, threatened you in any way? To be honest, he is, like, slightly threatening. I don't want to accuse him of anything because he hasn't done anything sexual to me. I'm, I'm just concerned for the safety of the girls because we live in such close quarters. Okay. Um, you don't have to say any more. Mm-hmm. For you to come to me and say you're uncomfortable speaks right. volumes. Mm -hmm. Would you feel comfortable with him going on this charter? I am happy to give him a second chance. Just don't want it to happen again. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to speak to Pete. Thank you. My pleasure. That's not enough. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Land lover of the episode goes to Jessica. She just gets worse and worse. Still so whiny and annoyed that she has to work the job that she's paid to do. How do you not feel guilty? I have a broken finger and you want me to unpack your luggage? Is that necessary? The scuttlebutt of the episode is, according to the preview for next week's episode, it seems like the shit show of a galley continues on to the next episode and Captain Sandy is super fucking pissed. We are teased with the idea of Captain Sandy firing a crew member as well. We shall see. All the guests are at the table, and no one has been to check on them. Start taking this food out to the table. For this kind of yacht, the food and the service, that was average. I want to walk out there and hear the clients go, wow. You have to do that for me. Okay. Otherwise, I have to find another chef. Okay. I will try and be more clearer for you, okay? Do you think that's what I want to do in the middle of services, not understand your purpose? Do you think like, I want you to not be able to understand, understand me? Fine, no, I can understand you. What's my chief stew doing? I don't see her leading. Not you. I can't explain it. Shipwreck of the episode goes to Peter. He might actually just own this category all season long. Hopefully Captain Sandy fires him soon. Next. Pete, Pete, can you please come to the bridge? Copy. Hi. Hi, Captain. I got a charter that starts soon, but I'm seriously considering letting you go and leaving you at the dock. Because from what I've heard, the way you talk about women and how you treat women is not okay. You want to explain your side? Just break it Not down for me, Pete, because this is very serious. Please. Um, I might have said some inappropriate things um, and talked about females inappropriately. What makes you think that you can speak like that on deck? I agree. I feel like I became too much of an open book. It's not okay in the world, mm -hmm. much less on a boat. 
Right. You need to get your head right and really consider... What comes out of my mouth. Don't let it happen again. You're lucky I'm not leaving you on the dock. Just do your job. Episode rating of the week is... I rate this episode a 7. The stupid mushrooms really killed the episode, though. Fuck mushrooms. Next week on Below Deck Med. Next on Below Deck Med. Rob, just attach it to that point. Making me stress out. Sorry, Doc. Let's all be polite to one another. Seems there's tension. You don't have to take things so personally every time. I'm just gonna keep close. I don't give a f- about your energy right now. When your boss tells you to pick up the pace, you pick up the pace. All the guests are at the table, and no one has been to check on them. Start taking this food out to the table. For this kind of yacht, the food and the service, that was average. I want to walk out there and hear the clients go, wow. You have to do that for me. Otherwise, I have to find another chef. Okay. I will try and be more clearer for you, okay? Do you think that's what I want to do in the middle of services, not understand you purposely? Do you think I like, want you to not be able to understand me? Fine, no, I can understand you. What's my chief stew doing? I don't see her leading. Not you. I can't explain it. Um, for more Below Deck Med, go to bravotv.com. This was a ride, y'all. I guess we're just going to have to wait till next Monday to see what happens. Don't forget to wear your fucking face mask. Wash your hands and encourage others to do so as well. Please continue to fight for the Black Lives Matter movement, even if your timeline has faded back to normal. This is not a temporary fight. Get on board. No justice, no peace. And defund the fucking police. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And try not to screw the push this week. Okay?